hello everyone welcome back to bp into with tutorials and uh, today we came up with an another topic uh, that is related to an excel trick guys i have seen like many of the employees are facing issues with the data validations which is much needed while preparing the report so today we will learn about it so before moving to that uh, please share subscribe the channel also click on bell icon guys so that you guys will get a notification on all the upcoming videos please do check the playlist wherein you will find the videos related to six sigma certification operation team lead quality team uh, trainers associates kpis many more videos are there guys watch it and crack your interview so let's start today's topic that is on data validation so before starting to this particular concept uh, let me show you from the beginning so guys i am just giving you an example here you can use it in a broad way uh, on your reports uh, it's very easy guys uh, to use it and i have seen many of the quality uh, trainers and team lead are using this particular validation in their regular reports let's start so what I, what I, uh, I will do here, the first of all, I have a list of employees here and I just want to see either these associates are pass or fail. Okay, uh, so what I'll do, I'll give their CSAT score here. I just give the dummy score here, like this is a 90%, this person is at 88% and uh, Lisa is at 94% and fraud uh, is at 91%, then 75% and... Uh, 61% example so these are the example and as per my particular process uh, the associates who are above 90% are above or equal to 90% are pass rest all will come under fail so I want to add a data validation here how I will do that so first of all I will uh, just add a row and column for that and I'll go to the first cell and I'll go to the home you guys able to see this home okay and then i'll go to data no need to go on home directly go to data you will find an option of data validation make sure you will be on this particular cell guys so that your data validation will work then you need to click on least okay i hope this is very much clear in the source you need to pass pass and comma fail and what i'll i'll, I'll do i'll just do okay in this way the data validation got added you can see here you can now change it to pass or fail guys it's up to you okay uh this is you can again copy paste to all the rows guys if you want to do that you can delete it and you can add it on the basis of that suppose 88 percent he is failed 75 percent he is failed 61 percent he is failed in this way you can do this guys rest everyone are pass this is just like validation we are giving of two two pass and fail if you want to add it more you can do that again go to the first cell go to data validation and least already is there you just need to add a comma and you can add more here like pass fail average okay or else i want to give here like amber red and green okay green which means they have cleared the exam amber which means they are a medium or moderate people and red which means they are failed i'm just giving these three cells here okay and i'm just mentioning your status now the associates who are at 90 i'm keeping them in amber you can see here we have a three options available here guys i'll just do copy paste here to the down and uh, control c and control v you can do directly all this particular for uh, data validation will get pasted here just you need to change it like 88 percent he is failed i'll just do it as a uh, red and 95 percent he is pass i'll make it as green so you can add this data validation uh, while using the commas and multiple uh, US, like letters or sentence you can uh, use it here guys you can also use it this data validation if you are looking for any status if you are want to add any parameters details suppose example uh, there is an associate name and you want to uh, mention here the call id or case id suppose this is the call id okay and there is a certain call id guys example it is in percentage i'll i'll just delete it uh okay so we'll make it uh, normal here like uh, general okay i'm just giving a dummy call id these are the call ids guys example okay and i want to check like on which parameter my associates have received the error okay and i just want to mention here parameter 
done and I'm just deleting it I'll go to the first cell again I'll go to data I'll go to validation I will add my parameters here the first parameter mine is call opening example call opening is my first parameter opening then my second parameter is uh, empathy third is uh, apology then next I have call resolution then I do have tagging then I have a uh, call ending then I do have notes these are my parameters see guys once you will modify it automatically we will get all these parameters here you just need to check on which parameter the associate got the error okay I'm just copy pasting this same to my all the cells wherever you want to check like there is an error you just mark it like on this Harlan did the mistake on apology same he did the mistake on resolution in this way you can prepare it guys how much easy it is okay so just use it in your report guys you can use it while preparing the checklist also if you want to do that you can use this data validation while doing the audits if you're doing the audits and you want like uh, no need to enter the parameters name again and again you just add the data validations there automatically it will uh, just copy paste it and whatever errors you are identifying just select it automatically will automatically it will get pasted there one more thing I just want to inform you here you will not able to enter the manual information here guys it will throw an error that you need to keep in your mind okay uh, so again if you want to remove this you can directly go to the data validation okay you can do clear all and okay if you do that the validation will got removed and you just can delete it here so data validation got removed here in this way you can do it guys if you have still any doubt please let me know uh, I'll help you out but make sure you will be using this in your upcoming reports and the audit form uh, this will surely help you out guys uh, uh, while entering the details manually so if you still have any doubt please share your feedback like share comments guys and also share it with your friends who are looking for the job and who are looking for the new role thanks a lot thanks for watching have a great day